Hello baddies, welcome to today's video. Today we will be doing this makeup look. Y'all already know, the Douyin makeup. I don't know if I said that right, okay? Don't go for me. I tried my best. Guys, I am obsessed with how this came out and it just might be my everyday look after this, okay? But just know this video is gonna be a journey, an adventure, one might say. Get buckled in, get your snacks, get your drinks, and enjoy because a lot, a lot happened. Jesus, please be on my side, please. Turns out this is waterproof. I'm gonna have a breakdown. I don't think this looks good. And if I start crying right now, I'm literally f***ing up my makeup. It just looks so pretty, I'm sorry. Oh my god. Ayer te vi solita, esa carita bonita. Guys, I do not know why, but I am so nervous to film this video. Like, I'm literally sitting here sweating. <laughs> But I think it's because I really have to show you guys my true beauty talent. Like, I really have to put it to work. This is going to be the test. Can I do this? Can I pull this off? Because if you guys know my makeup, very simple. Very simple. Concealer, bronzer, lipstick, let's go out the door. This, I don't know. I'm just really scared. I don't want to mess it up because it is so freaking cute. I've seen this look everywhere. It looks so bomb. And I feel like it will really complement my features better. We're going to get into that. But first... Let's get scientific. So I've always heard of this makeup look as a Douyin makeup. And I don't know what I thought Douyin meant. I literally don't know what it meant at all. According to the Google search, Douyin literally is shaking sound in Chinese. But Douyin is actually the Chinese word for TikTok. So it's basically TikTok, but in Chinese. And then I do a little deeper digging and I find myself on Urban Dictionary. Um, It turns out some people are mad with us Westerners, guys. So this is what I seen in Urban Dictionary for Douyin makeup. A stupid name made up by Westerners to describe a diverse range of makeup styles originating from China. Somebody got beef with us Westerners. I'm just putting it out there, guys. I don't know who it is. I don't know who this mystery person is. But it's not just them, actually. This is the next one. A way of saying Chinese makeup for people who are too racist to simply say Chinese makeup. I guess people are mad that we're not calling it Chinese makeup, guys. So for the rest of this video, I will be calling it Chinese makeup. But anyways, we're gonna get into this. I just wanted to do a little background, a little information, because I feel like we should be aware of what things come from. You know what I mean? It never hurts to do a little investigation. I'm not gonna lie guys. I have ass lighting right now. No more. No more. I think I'm just giving myself excuses just in case this gets bad. But first, we gotta get this mustache taken care of. Y a mi que vergas me importa. All my fellow hairy baddies know that the mustache grows <laughs> every other day actually. So these are the pictures that I'm gonna be getting the inspo from. The original Chinese makeup, it's more matte. I guess in China they call it like internet girl makeup. I think that's what they call it, something like that. But it's basically to get very photogenic pictures. Like you look good type shit. You know how like Instagram baddie we have in the US type stuff? This is I guess their version of Instagram baddie. They do it very matte. They stay away from glitters. I know a lot of do in makeup I see has a lot of glitter that didn't originate from the original look people just put their little twist to it and i actually think i am gonna do the glitter today but it's also gonna be more of a matte makeup at the same time i'm gonna mix it together you know I me mean? innovative i also seen that in this makeup the eyebrows are more straight and my eyebrows kind of have a little curve and they go down so i'm gonna cut my eyebrow off nah just kidding just, i got ya i got ya i'm just kidding i am gonna cut it off a little bit just a bit not too much not too much okay these go back in like two seconds anyway so okay guys do they look even or did I just fuck myself up? <laughs> also guys, I feel like I'm pretty prepared on this look. I did my research, a lot of research. And by research, I mean five TikTok videos and one YouTube video. <laughs> also, the girl that I watched, she had the same gaming chair as me. Well, I don't know if it's the same one, but she had a pink gaming chair. So all my pink gaming chair baddies, leave a comment. I just dropped my sunscreen. But leave a comment down below. So I'm gonna put on sunscreen first. Also, my face is so sensitive, like literally to the touch. You see that? <laughs> So lately I've been using this sunscreen from this Korean brand called Beauty of Joseon or Josian. I don't really know. But I heard this was a really popular sunscreen, so you know how to try it out. Because if you guys have not watched my last video, I don't remember how many videos it was ago, but I did a trying Korean skincare video for two months. And hey, y'all. Okay, let's back up a little bit. You guys see that? The last skin. Who? Me. Okay, I have irritable skin, okay? But like, I promise it's so soft and it feels so much better than it used to. Just go watch the video, guys. Just go watch the video, okay? I'm literally procrastinating, though. I'm so scared to get into this, but let's do it. Grab your balls, lift them up, and let's go. Okay, so the base of this makeup is pretty light. Very light makeup. And it also seems like they don't use too much coverage, so I'm just gonna go in with concealer. I'm gonna use this one by Huda Beauty. Hello? 
Highlighter. This is really close to my skin tone, but maybe a little bit lighter than my body. So I feel like this would be perfect because I don't want to go in like pale on my face, you know? Let's match the skin tone. I was thinking about using this Korean BB cream that I got. Let's see the color match actually. Because it is pretty light, but if it's not too light, then I think I could get away with it. Also, I love this BB cream, honestly. Like, why do Korean brands just do it better every damn time? Like, USA, step it up. Ahorita. Mexico, step it up. Ahorita. Okay, what do you guys think? Hmm. It definitely is lighter, but the coverage, god dang! But no, so I'm just gonna do like a light base. Basically what I always do. This is looking what I do for my everyday makeup. Something simple. So my everyday natural makeup, I feel like it's definitely more on the natural side. I don't do too much, but back in the day, I did entirely too much. If you guys remember the 2016 makeup, the 2016 eyebrows. Yeah, that was me. That was me. I was known for my eyebrows, actually. I was the eyebrow queen. I took my eyebrows so seriously. Like, I would put on concealer, eyebrows, and that was it. Girl, out the door. And I felt like the baddest bitch in the school. But a cool couple months back, I attempted the Latina makeup. And first of all, I completely failed that video. Like, I should have just not uploaded that video. <laughs> Honestly, I should have just redid it. My makeup skills did not come prepared. I am just not very skilled in the makeup world, but I am taking this very seriously, okay? Because this look is too cute, too cute. Like I low-key want it to be my everyday look, but I'm scared that it's not gonna look good on me. And then like, how am I gonna justify that? I'm gonna have to go back to the regular, regular fucking basic makeup look. So I feel like this is a pretty light base for me. It's not too light for my skin tone, but we're definitely not gonna be going in with bronzer. All the videos I watch, I don't think they put bronzer at all. Personally, I like to look a little tan, you know what I mean? I like to shrink this forehead as much as I can. Put a little illusion there. Also, did you guys see that scandal about the Latina makeup girl? I literally used her in my thumbnail, y'all, for the video I did. Everybody who did the Latina makeup or talked about it, they would always use this specific girl for the picture, for the inspo, right? Just to come find out, this girl is a whole Alabama, a whole white girl. I'm talking white mommy, white daddy. And like, it wouldn't even be bad if she did the makeup because people were saying she was Latina fishing and a lot of people were like, well, how the f*** are you gonna Latina fish if Latina's not a race? Which, yes, makes sense. But, I mean, this girl changed her name to a Hispanic name. <laughs> I think her name was Brooklyn Chapman. And she changed it to Una Gutierrez, something like that. Una? Una or Una? I hope she didn't change it to Una, because that means nail. Girl, you've been calling yourself a nail. So, yeah, that was kind of crazy. That was kind of crazy. Like, girl, now you're crossing the line. You did look like a bad bitch with the makeup. Everybody would have let you slide. Like, everybody. Because, I mean, everybody was copying that makeup look. Like, you ate that up. But changing your name, <laughs> that was a step too far. I'm just so intimidated to go into the eye section. So we're gonna procrastinate it a little bit more and go into the eyebrows. I'm not gonna do too much. I'm basically just gonna fill them in a little bit at the ends and maybe extend it a little farther. Like have it a little tail because it kind of looks like it don't have a tail. Kind of looks like it just cut off. I'm gonna be using this Yeti Moi palette from Beauty Creations. If you're wondering. Also, y'all tell me why right before this I broke my palette, <laughs> my bush, my bush. Palette. Not that, not that. My blush palette. I literally chapped it. <laughs> but I'm practicing positivity, okay? In my life, I'm not trying to get mad at little things because why, you know? Like, it's not that serious. That's what I'm trying to tell myself. I'm like shaking, guys. I'm so scared. I don't want to, I don't want to disappoint y'all. Like I did in the Latina makeup bit. <laughs> And then a whole storm's gonna get me in that bit. Like, bruh, can you give me a break? Can you give me a damn break? I'm literally just gonna fill the outside and I'm gonna be very careful with this, okay? Because the look is not calling for dramatic dark eyebrows. That's not what we're going for. This black can be a little scary to mess with, okay? Because one wrong move, boom. We got the 2016 brows. They be haunting me sometimes. Like that, what the hell is that, boy? <laughs> How do we think, guys? Mm, I low-key like that. Wait, did I eat that up? Hold on, wait, I feel like I'm redeeming myself. I am a beauty guru. No, but seriously guys, let me know if you guys want more videos of me trying makeup styles. Like I never really tapped into makeup type of videos because I honestly am lazy as fuck when it comes to makeup. Like I'm trying to do the easiest thing and yeah, yeah. Ooh. Hold on, or is it too dark? Did I fuck up already? I think we're going in a really good direction. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, these lashes. I know you guys are thinking, how in the hell do you expect to get Douyin inspired makeup with them 
baddie lashes. It's not working. Like, this is not the lash style. But guys, listen. A girl like me, a genius, I have a plan, okay? You guys know the manga style lashes, right? And they kind of look like wet and they're like together like that? Boom! You see that lash? You see how it looks like it's stuck together? Yeah, babe. I'm gonna stick all my lashes together. Let me give you guys a preview. Y'all better leave a like, comment, and subscribe because my eyes are watering. <sighs> this is so hard. Oh my god. Okay, so that was just a fast example, but do you guys see it? Like, do you guys see it or am I just being delusional? It kind of looks like manga, no? No, but I'm thinking about getting them wet and then sticking them together so it could look like that so i can have just enough time to like take the pictures and the thumbnail and stuff that's my plan so don't worry about it don't worry about it your girl got it all in the bag i came prepared for this video okay no games okay actually i'm not prepared because it's time to go into the eyes and my phone just died but most of the tutorials i watched they did like pink shadow on the outside and then i also seen girls going with nude colors like brown colors but for the most part i seen a lot of pink and just very light colors not bright but light so we're gonna be going in with like a light shade and maybe some nudes as well, but not too much It needs to be very subtle. Okay, so with that being said, what brush do I use? No, no matter of fact, I don't have a brush. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I tried my best. Thank you Okay, so we're actually gonna be going in with my blush palette because that's the only pink I have and I feel like this is the perfect pink And I'm also gonna use this color on my blush I believe or I might use more of like a redder one. I'm gonna just go in. It's time. It's time. It's time Stop being a pussy. Fight your fears. Conquer your fears. Oh, I fucked up. Okay, so I'm just gonna go all in, to be honest. I'm just gonna give it a pink base. I should probably go in with like a cream color though because I feel like it's a bit hard to see and my eyelids are kind of dark. I'm gonna put a little bit of this up here. Probably not the best to put BB cream on my eyelids, but a girl gotta do what a girl gotta do. You only live once. Also guys, I'm pretty sure I already talked about this in one of my last videos, but I'm sorry, I am just obsessed and now I'm depressed because I officially finished Fruit Baskets, guys, and it was the best anime I've ever seen in my damn life. Like, oh my God, it made me just think twice about humanity. Like, I was just like, well, we're fucked as humanity, to be honest. Like, everybody's fucking, like, there's fucking horrible people in this world, you know what I mean? But then that made me think, it's never too late to change. Okay, so I feel like, I don't know, did that do something? Do you guys even notice a difference? I also don't have my contacts on, so. So now we're gonna go back in with the pink. And we're just gonna go everywhere. Go crazy, go stupid. La, uh, 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 uh,
even if I didn't, just lie to me in the comments, please. I don't know, like, are you guys supposed to follow your natural eye bag fat? Because I have a little, little fat pack. I think we're getting somewhere. I think we're getting somewhere. A round of applause in the comments, please. Also, guys, I literally read every single one of your comments. And even if you think I don't, like, I swear to God, if one person says one thing that they don't like about my video, I will change that for that one person. I've done this so many times. Like, I remember somebody said, I love you, but you be burping too much in your videos. Like, I, I can't stand burping. And I swear for, like, a whole year after that, I stopped burping in my videos. And then I decided, bitch, if it comes out, it comes out. But the point still stands. And then recently, this girl DM'd me on my Instagram. She told me, I love you, girl, but this thumbnail isn't it. And it was the one where my sisters were rating my outfits. I changed that so quick. Just for you, just for you. With that being said, I read every, every one of my comments. Sometimes I wish y'all were just here with me, bruh. Like, I wish y'all could reply back to me in real time and, like, laugh at my jokes in real time. I'll be over here making jokes and shit, and I'm like... Are you guys really even laughing on the other side? Or are you guys just like, think I'm a dumb bitch? Think I'm a cringe bitch? No, but I don't give a fuck. I stopped caring if people think I'm cringe or not, guys. Would you rather live life wondering what people think about you and being scared to let your true self be free? Or would you rather be true to yourself? Stand up for who you are. You're cringe. I'm cringe. And be happy in the world, you know what I mean? I don't know, I feel like this looks too harsh. Am I dripping? Okay, I think it is too harsh, so I'm gonna go in and like scruff it up. Okay, I think that looks way better. I think that looks way better with the scruff up. Um, yes or no? Also, I feel like it's uneven, bro. Okay, I think I'm gonna go in with some light up here and maybe on the sides. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go in with some light shade, maybe a shimmer shade. I feel like it looks too dark in between the lines, you get what I mean? In the between the little eye roll. Bro, why did my Alex Earl light just come off? AKA my PC screen. I don't know if I'm just being delusional and it literally looks like there's no change, but to me there's change. I see it and it's dramatic. I mean dramatic. I meant to say dramatic and drastic and that's how we came up with dramatic. And I think we're gonna stick with it. I like it. Okay, so I wanna put a little bit more pink in the corners. Oh my God, wait! It looks so cute in the mirror. I hope it looks the same in this viewfinder. Thank you, love. I need eyeliner. I was also low-key scared about this part because I have not wore eyeliner so long and I don't even know if I have an eyeliner pin. <laughs> this tutorial that I watched, this girl actually used a lip liner to do it. But my problem is, I don't know if I have a lip liner sharp enough. Like, look at this. Boy, <laughs> yeah, that, that's just not gonna work. But I have more. I have this dark one. I thought he had a chance. He didn't. She's done. This is our last hope for humanity. Guys, if this is the one, no, it's not. I'm not even gonna do myself because literally look how small this is. Like, girl, you know you use this so many damn times. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, if it was the one, leave a subscribe down below, but I mean... You guys can do it if you want. If you want, like nobody's forcing, like if you want, nobody's forcing you. One kiss is all it takes, falling in love with me. Okay, so I think we're gonna be economic and we're gonna use the same exact brush that I use for everything else, for my eyebrows, for this. We're gonna use it for eyeliner, okay? This is your sign to de-influence yourself, de-capitalize yourself. You do not need all these makeup, all these brushes when you could do five things with the one. Okay, so I'm gonna go on with just a black shade. Oh my God, I'm fucking scared. Okay, it would probably be better if I had an eyeliner pencil, but you gotta make with what you got. I have hooded eyes, so this is one of the reasons why I don't really do eyeliner that much because it just always is so hard to look good. But we're gonna think positive today. We're gonna be positive this whole video. Because when you're positive, positive things happen to you. Watch me fuck this up. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, just kidding. Positive, positive. I almost forgot. There you go. <laughs> okay, so I think that's the look for the eyeliner. I think it came out pretty good. I actually like using eyeshadow for eyeliner because it comes out more natural. Okay, so I finished the eyeliner. I feel like it came out really good. I'm gonna go in right here with just a little more warmer brown because I feel like this looks too black. It needs to be warmer, I feel, for my skin tone. It will look more natural. Okay, maybe I just fucked it all up. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna buffer it out because this one looks really harsh. I'm just gonna go in with a teeny bit of concealer right here. I don't know if you guys can see that little part right there. I may just be a perfectionist but i see so you okay, okay come back season okay so now that i have the eyes done i'm gonna do the final touch and i'm gonna make the little eyelashes but i don't have an eyeliner like a water eyeliner i think i'm gonna go run to go find one right now because there's no way i could do it with that brush i know i said to use the brushes to its ability to do as much things as possible but nah, this brush is now retired thank you for your service okay guys so i searched up and down my house and por fin i didn't find nothing at all literally nothing Actually, that's a lie. I found this eyeliner, but it is not what I'm looking for. Oh my god. No! 
Yeah, this isn't coming off, buddy. Okay, so honestly, I feel like this makeup looks really good. Really good, okay? Let's not forget this, guys. Let's not forget how this looks because what I'm about to do might make or break my sanity after I just spent like 45 minutes doing this masterpiece. But no, we're we're thinking positive, y'all. This is a clear sign when you think positive, positive things happen. Okay, guys? This is your sign. And watch. Watch and learn. <laughs> so, actually, I was talking all that shit about this brush, but we're bringing him in again, okay? He has served me good. So what I think I'm gonna do is try to make it thinner. As thin as possible. And we're gonna go in with a little tip and just... It's the best we can do. And it's gonna work. It's gonna work. Watch this. This is what positive thinking does for y'all. We're gonna try a new, a new strat. Okay, so with this eyeliner, this is not like eyeshadow. I don't know what you would call it, but I'm gonna get some from here. <laughs> I'm trying my best, guys. I'm trying my best. We're not even gonna think about the bad. We're not even gonna think about the what ifs. We're only gonna think about the good in this world and my skill. Let me tell you guys what just happened. So I decided that's just not gonna work out, okay? That looks a mess, what I got going on in my eyes, like the fake eyelashes. It's not gonna work like that, no matter how hard I try. So I decided right now to go run to the mall to go get an eyeliner and maybe some pink gloss, right? So I go to the nearest mall and it's like right here. It's real close. First of all, there's a whole event going on and I'm really not trying to be a around a lot of people like i'm just trying to get in and out so there was no parking so i had to park far as hell but okay i'm trying to be positive new mindset new mindset so i go to the little beauty store and i buy this eyeliner right it's from italia and then i also got this lip gloss buy it i'm out i'm coming back where i came from i'm going down these stairs and i'm like wait let me make sure this is the eyeliner that i need like the type of tip that i need right so i'm looking and i put it back why do i fall down the stairs <laughs> oh my god i literally fell down the stairs y'all let me see if I can show you guys. My, my ankle hurts right now. My ankle fucking hurts. Let me show you all my leg. Ouch. Do y'all see that? Y'all see that right there? I don't know if you can see, but it's like out. It's out, babes. It's like knotted. And my ankle <laughs> feels like I sprained my ankle. The things that we doing for YouTube. All right, guys. So I'm going to finish this real fast. I'm going to put some powder on my face because I feel like after that little adventure, my face got a little bit oily. All powdered up. I think my mustache concealer is literally off. And I have a booger. Oops. Okay, so I hope my makeup didn't get too messed up because it was hot as hell. I was sweating and the beauty supply had like no AC. I was in and out. And then I fell going too fast. <laughs> the eye makeup still looks good. I was scared that my glasses were going to fuck something up. So now I'm going to do the little bottom lashes. Let's all do a prayer in the comments because after everything I just went through, this needs to come out good. <laughs> I don't think this looks right. Jesus, please be on my side, please. I don't have a Q-tip, so we're gonna be innovative here. Turns out this is waterproof. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Oh, turns out that I don't really cover it. <laughs> okay, let's be positive, guys. Gotta have a breakdown. This is why I don't do makeup videos. I don't think this looks good. Oh, Jesus. You know, we're not gonna all be perfect at this. First try, okay? Me pretending it looks good. The issue is I have actual bottom lashes and they're getting in the fucking way. Like, bitch, can you move? We're just gonna pretend that looks good, okay? I tried my best. Now I'm just gonna put black mascara on the bottom, but not too much. Hopefully this saves this disaster that I did. Ain't no way those look like real eyelashes. Girl. <laughs> oh my god, y'all. I am literally... <laughs> and if I start crying right now, I'm literally fucking up my makeup. <laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna fix all this. Try not to lose my sanity and I'll be right back. So I fixed everything up and I think it came out really good. Y'all ready for the reveal? Ah! Y'all, I am obsessed. Wait, this is so cute. Okay, after the breakdown, I did that. A little breakdown didn't hurt nobody. Oh, you look good. Cute, huh? Like, babe, you pulled that shit off. What he said, I ate that up. I am a scientist. I'm an innovator. The way I made it work with my extensions? <gasps> Guys, y'all need to give a like and a comment and a subscribe for this one. I am so proud of myself. Okay, so let me tell you guys what I did because I did not do the fake eyelashes on the bottom with eyeliner because that's what put me into my breakdown. <laughs> that was my last straw. So what I did is I put mascara and I clumped them together. Can you guys tell? Can you guys tell? And then for my eyelashes at the top, my extensions, I got them wet with water, a little spoolie, and I just clumped them together. Real cute. Oh my god, I feel like I should be the fucking protagonist on the anime right now. The baddest, the baddest bitch. Oh my god, I'm so happy because I was scared this was gonna come out bad, y'all. Like, this was this was a little harder than I thought. I'm not gonna fucking lie. But I'm not done yet. If you guys haven't noticed, I'm missing one 
very important part of this video. I would say kind of the second most important because the, the eye makeup is really what puts this together. But the blush, mi amor. So all the pictures I see, the blush is right here in the middle. I started putting my blush up here because I feel like it makes my face look less round. But let's see how this looks. Oh my God, guys, I'm obsessed with this. I don't know if I can make it my everyday look though. Like a bitch was struggling. God damn, oh my God. But look, you see what happens? Thank you, thank you for my lighting. PC, turn on. But you see what happens when you stay positive, guys? Look at this. Look at this. Mm, oh my god. This is so cute. I love this. I feel so cute, pretty, bomb. Oh my god. I'm just looking at myself in the mirror, guys, and I'm like, who is this bad bitch? It's you. It's always been you. I'm so happy. Like, I'm, I could go do a fucking backflip right now. I'm so happy this came out good. Like, I literally did the damn thing. Oh my gosh. Ayer te vi sonita. Esa carita bonita. I just feel so cute. Like, I might really make this my everyday routine. Also, I'm gonna ask my lash lady if she could try the manga style lashes on me. Like, this style, basically. <laughs> I'm gonna do my hair and take some pictures, but this is the final look. Hello, hello, hello. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I went through a lot. This was a roller coaster. This video was a roller coaster. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, guys. I read all your freaking comments. Like, I swear to God, I'll be in there scrolling. I might even go stalk the Insta. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But seriously, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much. If you're here to the end, you are OG. You are a real one. And I'll see you guys next week, every Wednesday and Sunday. No te olvides, okay? Te amo. Si de casualidad me ves llorando un poco es porque yo te quiero a ti. Quin, 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 sí.